Hello everyone, this is Car from MeChevis.co and welcome back to my review of the 1 to 100 Master Grade Turn A Gundam. And in this part of the video, I will go over the parts and the articulation. So stay tuned for that. I'm starting bottom to top, we're gonna find some really cool looking legs. Um, I said on the box it was looking uh, almost non grade but believe me, this totally feels like a Master Grade. And they are full of inner frame, it's... It's a really cool inner frame, and you can see there it pokes out on the back, and uh, so yeah, very cool. Uh, as far as articulation goes, this part is a little bit limited. You can twist it around only about this far before it starts hitting these things, so don't expect it to ro rotate fully below the hip. Then it can uh, move out about this far. Then the knee is double jointed and when you bend the top joint you'll notice that these things, these great things, veins or whatever, you bend the top joint and they slide a little bit down, which is really impressive. I don't know if you saw that, but it's there and it's really nice. And yeah, with the top and bottom joint together. Sorry, the knee just popped out. Uh, yeah, with the two joints, you can achieve a full 180 degrees, almost. And then these legs are awesome because they have an extra joint there, and they slide a little bit forward, like so. And you notice that when you do that, some vents on the back um, spread a little bit. So that's kind of cool and there's nothing not uh, something you see often uh, then the feet the feet are really articulated and they are in a double hinge from what I remember and then they can move forward and backward like so and up and down wiggle around rotate about this far since they are all hindered in the armor and then there are uh, other joints that allow the top, uh, uh, the front part of the feet to move down like so. And the back part, the heel, also moves a little bit in and out. I don't know if you can see it. But it does move. So that's pretty cool. And when we move on to the waist section, <coughs> there's not really a lot going on. Uh, we have two side skirts that are hanging on ball joints. They are a little bit uh, loose and they tend to go wherever they want, but they're not gonna fall off. And um, yeah, nothing really, nothing really special about this, except for this little core fighter. You now. It has a gimmick, and uh, the wings are the wings are on a double hinge here, so they can rotate like so. But they can also rotate like so. And the yellow part just popped out. I swear all these uh, falling parts have never happened before the review. And then you turn down the cockpit and you're done. You have the well front part of the waist section with actually moving front skirts. So that's pretty cool. Um, something I have to point out is that this yellow piece um, fallen is fallen on me more than more times than I like to. So I don't know, I might glue it since I don't think I'm gonna use the core fighter that much. But anyway, uh, just saying, you might wanna glue it. And then this red part rotates. And then there is um, a hinge here which is gonna attack, uh, attach to the, to the actual torso. And speaking of the torso, 
well, there's not a lot of moving parts actually, and the only moving parts are this uh, uh, the shoulder joint that moves forward and backward, a little a bit, bit of from forward and backward movement there, but nothing much really, and then we have the neck which which does rotate and that's pretty much about it now it has some gimmicks um, well let's start from the back um, you see all these thrusters they well thrusters all these things they can open up like so to reveal little uh, holes inside I would say they are not thruster I will um, I would say they are for the Moonlight Butterfly so I'm not so sure about calling them thrusters but anyway you saw this top one opens up then we have all the other that are individually molded so they open up like so and like so so that's pretty cool and on the front we have all the panels that open up we have uh, this ones are a little hard to open come on there we go and you slide this piece forward and then you open up this little panel and then I find it easier it is easier just to remove the whole thing yes because you can also remove the this whole thing uh, to put a cow inside if you want and yeah I find it easy to just remove this piece and open the panel separately like so and so yeah this is how it's gonna look so that's pretty cool actually I like that and let's go with the arms then now the arms they have a joint up there in the shoulder that will allow them to move up about this far more or less then they can well they can't rotate below the shoulder unfortunately but they can rotate at the elbow which is reminiscent of the older high grade slash master grade they all had this rotating point there and um, yeah the elbow bends at two points and we have <coughs> we have also a little bit of wiggling movement for this the wrist part and uh, as you see there is not a hole there is a ball joint because the hands have some some kind of a hole this is the wrong one which will go inside the ball joint no, the ball joint, will, ball joint will go inside this thing and you have the hand you have two sets of hands um, you have uh, two open dramatic hands and then the two uh, hands with the articulated finger and each finger is articulated uh, separately we have these three that are on hinges somehow some kind of hinges they are not they can't rotate uh, only the index and the thumb are on ball joints and they can rotate this three can they move independently of course but they cannot rotate to the side so they are on hinges not ball joints and well that's pretty much about it moving on to the shoulders then uh, are they are pretty interesting the way they are put together and the way they attach to the to the torso and actually let me show you with the torso attached now you there is a hole there and you make it slide there and then there is a little peg there and a hole there on the chest and they are gonna attach together like so and then you attach the arm yeah you attach the arm like so and let me show you how it works um, we have this panel that open 
not really opens, it slides back and it will go like so allowing the arm to move pretty much wherever it wants and then we have another little panel there which well you could see it's allowed the arms to move up a little more but it's not that noticeable really and and the back one does open up a little bit to reveal a hole there well you can see it's always also for bring the arm backward but I think it is mostly to reveal this hole which is made f is made for uh, um, some attachment pieces that will allow the beam rifle to attach on the back and the shield on the other side and this rotating parts are for the beam savers and they simply slide there and that's pretty much about it. They can rotate around, so that means you can pull it up and have the turn A if you move the shoulder arm out of the way. You can have the turn A easily grabbing his own beam saber on the back. But all the focus is gonna be of course on the turn A's unique head. And I gotta say it is perfectly recreated with this model. Look at that, it's perfect. Uh, it has no moving parts, nothing. And the eyes are clear yellow and you can see them sparkling because you put a sticker uh, underneath. Um, so we have the silver of the sticker that shines through the eyes and reflects the light. So that's kinda cool. And uh, other than that I don't really know what to say, there are no moving parts, there are a lot of panel lining opportunities on the head and also on the other parts of the kit so yeah, oh, you were supposed to put a sticker on his forehead with the turn A symbol but I'm not going to, I'm most likely gonna paint it myself and well go inside there with a little bit of um, ink green ink and yeah, I gotta say, I really love this thing. And on to the accessory we go! Uh, you already saw one beam saber, you get two, and two clear pink beams too. Think, uh, they are really thin beams, as I said in the unbox video. So yeah, uh, they are not the standard uh, uh, master grade beams. And then we have the turn A beam rifle, which really looks cool and it has some gimmicks and the first one is you notice that there is no handle where is the handle well you slide this panel back and then pull down the handle and this is let's say the normal handle and I gotta say that really is cool and when you don't want to use it, you just pull it back and slide the panel forward. It is a little tricky to do, but not really difficult. And there we go. Um, and the other handle, which is uh, one that he used the most during the um, the series, is that you slide this thing back and uh, there is nothing to stop well there it is uh, um, stopped on the top part so it stops there but on the bottom part there is nothing to stop it so it kinda it tends to go like so and then pop out so be a little careful um, there is a handle there you just pull it out you just pull it out and rotate it and there you go. You slide the fingers in there. And that's pretty much about it for the beam rifle. Then we have the Gundam Hammer, which <laughs> really does look cool, especially with the turn A um, kind of um, steampunk design. I find this is the really the perfect weapon. And then we have the shield which is really uh, 
this is a really cool shield and it's inter interesting the way you put it together now you see on the back there is a lot of gray and there are, because this part this whole part slides up and down and there is a peg that will go inside the arm and these two panels that will wrap around the arm and the little handle for the hand to grab it and that will be about it for this part of the video review of the Master Grade Turn A Gundam so well stick around for part 3 uh, where you're gonna see it all put together and all detail it up uh, with the Gundam marker, the panel lining and I don't know well everything that I feel is needed I will do that so stay tuned for that and this was Kar from me Chavez of Co. hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe if you haven't already of course and I will see you at the next part see you there